On 21st January 1910, a world-class shooter was born in Budapest, the capital of Hungary. His name was Karoly Takas. He had joined Hungarian army. He was hungry to be the best, and yes, he was the best. In 1936, at the age of 26, he was already one of the top pistol shooters in the world. He had already won all the national championships in his country. His only goal was to win the best shooter medal, that is the gold medal in the Olympic Games that were going to be held in 1936. But he was denied to be a part of 1936 Summer Olympics on the ground that he was a surgeon, and only commissioned officers were allowed to compete. This was the first obstacle faced by Karoly in the path of fulfilling his dream. Although this prohibition was lifted in Hungary after Berlin Games, this opened the way for Karoly to be a part of 1940 Olympics. All the eyes were on Karoly as everyone knew he was the best. But just before 2 years from fulfilling his dream in 1938, during an army camp training, a faulty grenade exploded in his right hand and as a result The best shooting hand, the right hand of Karoly, was no more a part of his own body. It seemed to be the end of his lifelong dream. Everybody came forward to show sympathy for what had happened to Karoly. In such condition, most of the people would give up before misfortune and live their rest of the life resenting about what had happened. But no one can stop a true champion like Karoly, not even misfortune. Instead of focusing on what he had lost, his right hand Karoly decided to focus on what he still had his left hand instead of living rest of his life feeling sorry for himself he decided to train his left hand to be the best shooting hand of the world the hand with that he can't even write a single character he decided to write the history using his that hand after the accident he had spent one month in the hospital for his treatment but as soon as he came out of the hospital he started his training of left hand Just after one year in 1939 national championship was going in Hungary where Karoly came back each and every shooter was happy to see him they approached Karoly to praise him for his sportsman spirit because they thought that even after what had happened to him still Karoly had come to cheer them up but when Karoly replied to them i haven't come here to cheer you up i have come here to compete you this made everyone surprised and few of them to laugh as well because no one had an idea that Karoly was secretly training with his left hand for the past one year so the competition began excitement was on the top everyone holding their breath became eye witness of a miracle the hand that was not able to write a single character few months back won the championship this miracle mesmerized everyone karoly's name was literally spreaded everywhere But none of this fame or limelight was his goal. His only goal was to win the best shooter medal, that is gold medal in the Olympics games. That's why no matter how much he got sympathy or how much praise, he never kept his eye away from his goal. So he put all his concentration on 1940 Olympics game, but this was not easy as 1940 Olympics was cancelled due to World War 2. So he again decided not to give up and started to get prepared for 1944 Olympics. But again, due to World War, Olympics was cancelled. It was like time itself was examining the patience of a champion. But the goal was set to be the best. So he started preparing for 1948 Olympics. But in every sports, age is a big factor. There is a peak age when an athlete can give his best performance. In 1948, when finally Karoly got the chance to participate in the Olympics held in London, he was around 38 years old and he had to compete with fresh and most talented younger players from all over the world. And the best players had to come to compete with their best hand, whereas Karoly had to compete with them with his only hand, his left hand. It was nearly impossible for a 38 years old man to beat the younger players. but this impossible word was not there in karoly's dictionary in karoly's dictionary this impossible word was also written as i am possible in 1948 olympics the most favored pistol shooting player was carlos valiente everyone was pretty sure that valiente was going to win the gold medal in the olympics after knowing about the accident valiente came to meet karoly and asked him what are you doing here karoly replied him I am here to learn how to become a world champion. 
So after that, the 1948 Olympics started. With his own determination, his own focus, his own hard work, Carley made his dream come true. In 25 meter rapid fire pistol shooting competition, he won the gold medal with his only hand. But he didn't stop here. In 1952, he again took part in Olympics and again won the gold medal. By becoming the first to win two gold medals consecutively, he wrote the history with his only hand. After that, Carlos Valiente came to Carley and said, "You have learned more than enough. Now it's time for you to teach me." You may be thinking that this is the end of this story, but no. Carley didn't even stop there. In 1956, at the age of 46, he again participated in the Olympics held in Melbourne, but this time he finished with the eighth position. So after that, at least he must have stopped. The answer is again no. Because real winners don't stop until the last day of their life. In 1958, at the age of 48, he participated in the ISSF World Shooting Championship and won a bronze medal in 25 meter center fire pistol shooting. Also, he had won a total of 35 Hungarian National Shooting Championship in his whole career. The man with the only hand wrote the history with his left hand and taught a lesson to the entire world to never lose the hope. We may give millions and trillions of reasons for our failure, for what wrong has happened to us, for what we couldn't achieve, but the real heroes, the champions, need only single reason to achieve what they want. As Carley said, it's not about being the best, it's about being better than yesterday. For the first time I came to know about Carley from Sandeep sir's Illusion to Reality video. If you understand Hindi well and still haven't watched Sandeep sir's video, then you can watch the full video by following the link given below in the description. Now it's time for the most motivating comment. Satish, thank you so much for your valuable feedback. We are really glad to help you. At last, a little request to you. If you found this video inspirational, then please share it with your friends and family. and don't forget to like and comment below to let me know your opinion about this video next video is on the next wednesday thanks for watching more wisdom more solution battle life